welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I will be doing a flip through of my art journal. This is the first art journal I've ever completed because I always make it, I start it, then I get excited and I make another art journal. But I've actually banned myself from doing that so I have to finish art journals now. So I'm very excited about so this is my first flip through. Okay, this is like a monumental achievement. So I've decorated the cover. Um, I always want to have my covers decorated because that really does show that it's like finished. So, and I hadn't done it yet. I wanted to leave it to the end. Normally I decorate my covers first, but I thought I would do it different with this one. Um, and I decorated the cover using the contents of the September mixed media box theme Boho Chic. And those are sold out, but there are some past boxes that are all on sale. So you can grab yourself a bargain and you can also get a multiple subscription box order and the more boxes you add to your order the more you save which means that you will get future boxes so you won't miss out um, on the future boxes and you can get as much as you want and um, the December box will be available very soon so please do check all those stuff out in the link below so you can grab yourself a subscription box um, so yeah, and you can also see the video for that in an iCard in top right hand corner. So I'll link that. So here's a quick close up. And this was done with acrylic paint, um, washi tape, like deco paper, tissue paper, stuff like that. Oops, sorry. Okay, so onto the first page. And I started this a couple of years ago. I first used it when I was in Italy with my family, one of my cousins were getting married. So I took an art journal with me and it's this one. This is quite a um, simple, I just used some um, watercolours, just some like cheap watercolours in like the pan. Um, there's washi tapes, book paper, some stamping, just basically whatever I had like with me. And I always take just a small amount with me. And it tends to be watercolours because in the pans it's nice and flat and you can really fit it in. And you can also see like what I took with to my most recent trip. Um, I did interrailing in the EU. And you can see what I took in that in an iCard in the top right hand corner. So what I took in my travel bag. Um, and then at one point I was in America a couple years ago as well. And I thought I would try to make a tree. Now it looks really weird. Um, trees are my strongest point so they always do. And this is just, I like kind of like swirled on watercolor um, with like a dry brush, did some stamping and I just basically made this tree out of washi tape strips and then just kind of doodled over it with a pen. And it's going to be interesting to like see as I flip through how my style changes since this is over like two years. So you'll see how different things look. So I made another tree again, this was in America. Um, the, made the same day. I just use like black watercolor though. So again, there's some stamping. I did a lot of stamping um, in my art journey a couple years ago. This was just like a scrap of paper that I just scribbled the tree on and then stuck it onto. And of course you can see that there's watercolors in there as well. And this, I'm not sure when I did this. I think Oh yes, that's true. This was done on the way to America. This was on the plane. I got myself mixed up. Apologies for that. This is a, this is in America and this is in America as well. This is when I was by my aunt. This is when I was in Italy. I just splashed on like the colour um, with like no kind of like plan at all and then I just saw whatever shapes were in it and doodled around it. I, I think I'd seen like a, I think I'd seen a video on from somebody's channel. Um, I'm not too sure who from and they were just kind of like drawing around the shapes that they saw um, after putting down the paint. So I thought I would try that. So this is in Italy and that was two years ago as well. And then I sketched this when I was in the airport waiting to go back home. And that's just with pencil. And then this, this was last year, I, um, when Instagram came out with like, you could do live videos, I tried that out. So this was like my page. Um, again, this is watercolours and some um, gel pens over it. 
and you can see I do like to draw houses so I always have a house in somewhere whether it's on a canvas or on a journal page this was, as well was one of the live videos sadly I wasn't able to save them because it was a bit glitchy every time I did it which is a shame um, but I love how this one turned out this one I used some kind of paint I can't remember what medium it was and like so I had it and you can see that I kind of like dripped it down and it looked really cool um, and then I thought like maybe like if it was like a rock face or something so then I paint that in and then um, I doodled on the side as if maybe succulents or something was coming out because I find um, succulents are like one of those plants that if it's like the right condition they just kind of pop up and I really like that and I put a quote that says live your life in colour and again this was last year and I really loved how that turned out that would actually look really cool on the canvas and then I have a weird kind of obsession with like natural disasters so like twisters and tsunamis and earthquakes and volcanoes I find it very fascinating so I did a twister and like this is very mixed media like there's quite a lot of texture in this I just stuck down a whole bunch of like letters I had die cut using my Sizzix machine so you can kind of see that in the background um, I went up with some paint to like create that swirling did some like doodling to add some details um, I used some kind of like kind of pearl effects kind of thing on there as well and the quote um, says and I lost and I lost the last of my words as I allowed the madness to take over so that's that one and I really liked how that turned out because it did look really chaotic and this one again I do like rainbows so and I love using loads of color so like pages like this actually are quite rare and this again was done on an Instagram live and so was that one and this was done with like water soluble pastels and then I doodled over it with a pen and I put all the colors of the rainbow And um, when I was doing these art journal pages, I was really into like putting words in or quotes. So you'll see that. And that was last year. So that was what I was into. So you can really see how my styles change. This again was last year. Um, this tree I made with book paper. This sticker is from like the Artful Planner illustrations. And you know, I keep on saying I'm going to release stickers. I really should just launch them. Oh, and then the background, some of this like gel pens and stuff. I like to use cheap-ish supplies in my art journal because it doesn't really matter most of the time. Especially if it's in a art journal, you don't have to worry if it's light fast, which means it won't get faded by the sun because it's safe in a book. Um, it doesn't matter if it's neat or tidy or if it's perfect because um, I can see flaws in this, but it's fine because it's in an art journal and an art journal is just a play and be free. And now this is this year, I believe. I can't really see the date. Yep, it does say 2018. And this, there are videos of this from here onwards. You can find the videos in um, the art journal playlist and I'll link that below. And I'll link some of these videos up in the iCard as well. And so these are like really weird quirky flowers. I just slapped on paint onto the background and left it there. I was kind of using these pages as a way to like save paint because if I'm finished with a canvas or something I don't want to waste the paint so I just kind of slap it on to whatever journal page I can find. So I took that and then I went over with more paint to make it look a little bit better then I used like book paper and um, these like fine liners you can put acrylic paint in it and then like squeeze it out and I was really into doing that earlier in the year. So I did that. Some really weird quirky flowers. And then this one, there's loads of texture. It's got like glass bead gel. Again, this was one of those pages that had paint slapped on it. And this was like a series of videos, so you can also find this as well. Um, so yeah, like glass bead gel, paint kind of splashed on so it looks like water. This went through a serious hot mess phase, but thankfully I was able to save it. And then I put jellyfish over it, so I really liked how this one turned out. And this, um, again, um, like some paint left over, I used like tissue paper um, and washi tape. Oh, and I didn't mention before, this page 
this page and the page after it was used. Um, I used some of the previous subscription box contents in them um, because I, I still have stuff left over so I thought I would just use them up as much as I can and I think I'll do something like that again because um, I do have some more art journals to finish so I'll be using stuff like my previous um, subscription boxes just to like use up the stuff um, so that none of it wastes so yeah I really liked how this turned out this kind of silhouette kind of look to it I was really happy with that and this page as well um, this was like these papers were from the launch box from last year when I first launched the mixed media boxes and I really like this. I do like hot air balloons. I really, really want to go up in one um, one day, actually. So that's like on my bucket list. So that's how that one turned out. And then this one. This was really cool, actually, because um, this is one of my recent videos. I did this with my left hand. I thought I would challenge myself. And it was all in my left hand. It was really tricky, but I'm really happy how she turned out. And of course, like her chin's a bit like, wobbly and stuff. But I really happy with it because it was my left hand and these were used um, inks and sprays basically for this one and now for the last page um, this was used using one of my favorite techniques I love painting with a palette knife and I love using my fingers so this was a palette knife and I love doing flowers with it like these kind of I call them rosy posies I put they probably not they probably don't look like rosy posies but I think the name suits them and so I did that and of course you can see that in an iCard in the top right hand corner and this vase I used a mask um, from Sean Petit and part of her creative team for 2018 to 2019. I do have uh, my first video up of me using her stencils so please do check that out and there's a whole bunch of us as well using her stencils for her creative team. Um, so yeah, I loved how this turned out. I thought it looked really pretty and I had a lot of fun using it and I'm really happy this was my last page because I just finished it all off nicely. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the flip through. Um, I thought I would talk through instead of just flipping through and putting music um, so you guys kind of like knew how I created some of the pages. Um, and yeah, so if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And please do click that bell next to the subscription button so that um, you get notified whenever I upload a video. And if you like watch one of my videos or um, see something that I've created and you use that as inspiration to create something of your own, please do share on Instagram, like tag me or join the Facebook group. Um, all those things are below because I would love to see what you do. And I want to thank my subscribers who have already subscribed. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I really appreciate you guys. So um, thanks again for watching and please join me again for another arty video. Bye. Thank you.